Yo guys, what's up? How are you guys doing today? Let's skip all the, what do they call it? Introductions, the Yosu stuff. Let's just get right into it. We're back for a rematch. I've actually had to re-record this three times because all my other attempts were failures, but I think this attempt will be the attempt that we're gonna beat Red. I'm very, very, very confident in this attempt. I made a lot of changes. I did a lot of training. Well, not substantial changes, but I did do some revisions to my team. And now I finally figured out a way to, oh, wait a minute. I don't think I put the right items on. Give me a, s oh gosh. Oh gosh. All right, reroll. That was horrible. That. I don't even remember how to put the right items on my Pokemon. Give me. No, no, I remember. Yes, okay. Sorry, give me one second. See, that's how you know. Wait, who has the left? Wait a minute. Wait. Who has the leftovers? Oh, yes, Abba. Okay, I remember. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So as I was saying, yes, we made... Man, we're so unprepared. It's just, it's crazy how unprepared I was, but... So while we are watching me do all of this stuff, I did make some major revisions to my team. Not, okay, we won't call it major revisions. We made some small changes that would increase the reliability of the strategy while not sacrificing well, it's something we had to sacrifice. Basically, we just made it the strategy more reliable, as you're gonna witness in just a few moments. But I did go back and EV train everyone. I wouldn't say they're fully maxed out, but actually, Snorlax is maxed out in EVs, and I'm pretty sure Starmie is too, because Starmie and Snorlax are the two most important key players for this match so i did reliably okay, reliably i focused a lot of my training on stormy and snorlax so if my training pays off this espion psychic should never ever be a two hit ko it should always always be a 3 hit KO oh man well okay well as you're gonna see here the sidekick should not do more than half if it does then we're just frauds huh interesting funny how that works but okay that was pretty lucky of us. Um, the Snorlax strategy does remain the same with his Snorlax, trap with mean luck, and then just use curse and spite. But you're gonna see a new move that I taught to protect, and I taught protect to Haunter because it's gonna be part of the strategy I use to fight the Charizard or the Blastoise because if you recall from a previous video with the previous video with this challenge in generation 2 you don't take toxic damage sorry you don't take poison damage 
if your Pokemon KOs another Pokemon. So if Blastoise were to knock out my Starmie and while it's poisoned, then it doesn't take any poison damage. Which is bad because we need Blastoise is really hard to KO reliably. Because well it's so tanky and it's fast and it's a water type. And as you may know, water types are the best. Water type is overall the best type in Pokemon. Like, water is a very strong type offensively and defensively. But that's neither a video for here or nor for there. So with the with the Golbat versus the Venusaur, what I'm hoping to get from that with Golbat versus Venusaur is that with this matchup, I don't think Golbat needs. Ooh, okay, it's going straight for sunny day. Hmm. Yeah, gold batch should be fine. So probably next turn, Red might use a synthesis. He might use synthesis on Venusaur, but we'll see what happens. So the Gold Berry lets me live two more Solar Beams, and there it is. That's the synthesis number one. Solar Beam again. Now, the Sunlight's gonna fade, so either he's gonna set up Sunny Day again, or oh, can we get a critical hit? Okay. Yeesh. I wanna do a re. It's okay. It's fine. So. Okay. Yes. Go to Starmie. You're going to see the true power of our Starmie. Yes, our Starmie has no attacking moves. We are literally going to stall out this Blastoise to hell. Yep, we're doing that strategy. It's not my favorite strategy in the world, but it is a necessary one. Now, with this, let's see how much Surf does after my EV training. See, with that, with that plus leftovers, I can recover, there you go, all of my HP back, and I just have to alternate between protect and recover, and we're good. Like I said, not my favorite strategy in the world, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh wow, that surfed it a lot actually. I felt I felt like even with all my EV training, I thought it would be easier to do this, but I suppose not. Ok, 
Okay, and now I'm gonna use Protect on this turn because now Starmie will be full HP for Charizard or more HP for Charizard. And then now I have to make a decision if I want to Rain Dance or use Awesome. So with the Charizard, I have a choice now because my choice, I can either poison the Charizard or I can use Rain Dance. Toxic will be better overall. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go, but Rain Dance would help my team out more. So it's really just, I'm gonna go for Toxic. Of course, this assumes that Starmie lives wing attack, obviously. And that is great. Very great. Now for this instance, Starmie is not going to live wing attack. And now this is my favorite part of the strategy, where we do this where are we? switch the ride on ride on takes wing attack hmm. I thought I taught ride on protect that's okay now we just sack the gold bat we don't need gold bat anymore Sack the bull bat. And then we switch to Starmie again. Pull up for protect. again we switch and ride on cool cool nice nice switch and ride on now he's gonna go for he's gonna go for flamethrower now and we know that lantern can take a flamethrower Now you might be thinking, is this strategy be, is this strategy possible without poison? I'll be honest, unless I use a Suicune, probably not. I don't see our team beating Charizard and Blastoise reliably without poison, but hey man, that's life. And there we have it. And that's Pokemon Trainer Red Beam. None of a Pokemon can experience. These are all base level Pokemon. No legendaries. No items in battle. We did get a few lucky crits, which. Eh. That's life. I mean, the crits are part of the game, so. Now, obviously, if Fred got crits, that would be bad, but. When you think about it, you gotta give me some, cut me some slack sometimes. I mean, his Pokemon are level 80 and 70, or his levels are level 53 gold bat, not even a crow bat, a gold bat. And we're like slugging around with a level 35 Rhydon, level 3 Starmie and Lantern. The odds are not really in our favor, so. I'm just thankful that we barely got through. But yes, so I do want to thank everyone who has been watching my videos for sticking through. It took me a long time to find the motivation to complete this, but I have finally defeated Trainer Red. I'll be brutally honest. 
I didn't think I was going to beat Red. Like, when I was doing my research, like, I'll tell you what, a lot of the research that I did for this game was based around Lance. So most of my resources were t so I could beat Lance. And then, I was like doing some research for fun, just, you know, mess around and just, you know, I like researching, looking at stats. And when I determined that Red might actually be beatable, I was like, no way, I actually have to continue this. And here we are. Like, if it wasn't for the Snorlax that we caught in Vermilion City, I would never even think about continuing the challenge and just stop it here. But the Snorlax pulled through. So before I end this video, it's going to be a short video, but before I end this video, I do want to thank everyone for sticking through and continuing to support me and it really means a lot and I really hope you do enjoy these videos like I do these obviously for myself because I love the challenge of figuring out these things but I also want to do this for you guys because I know a lot of people have trouble sleeping or a lot of people join the classic games when everyone enjoys the newer games more but me personally I've always been a bigger fan of the older games and the classics so I really do enjoy making these, and I hope you guys enjoy listening to me talk about these things, listening to the keyboard sounds, and just listening to, for those of you that are older in age, in remembering your childhood and going through these games, and maybe remembering some things, maybe misremembering some things, but I just hope you overall enjoyed the ride, and I like this song a lot, I never really... Wow. Wow, the song is so peaceful. What song is this though? I feel like I recognize the credits theme. That sounds really nice, but anyways, to conclude this video, thank you so much for listening or watching. I hope you guys have yourselves a phenomenal day or night and this challenge for Pokemon Crystal Z Experience Points is officially concluded. What are my plans next? Honestly, I do still have to do the Pokemon Emerald Zero Experience Points. I might start the Pokemon Diamond or what do they call it? Generation 4 challenge, but that will be for in the future but thank you guys and i'll link if you want to watch the rest of the playlist i'll link it in the title card in the description and have yourselves a fantastic phenomenal day all right peace out